to come back. I trust you're having fun with these videos. Yes, I hope you do. In this new video, I will be showing you how to use circle. How to use circle again to draw or to generate the, the, the development for a uh, truncated front. Yeah. Uh, in fr for this example, I will be using a, tri a triangular pyramid. So the first I'm going to draw here is a circle. So you see, enter <clears throat> circle of radius. I'm going to use a radius of 330. Enter. And I want to divide this radius in, into three. Divide a circumference into three. So I type B, I, V, or divide, enter, left click here, number of segments I want, in this case it's three. I type three, enter, I now have three points, yeah? My next step is to <clears throat> draw, is to draw, Draw my um draw the draw the, the elevation. So I click here and turn on orthogonal mode or the mode. I want height of my this to be ninety nine zero enter enter. <clears throat> so I put that line L enter left click here. Up ninety nine zero enter escape. <clears throat> now I'm gonna move this up these two M enter for move. I left click here and I drop that right there. Yeah. Now I'm gonna move this to the middle. M enter. Base point is here. Drop that there. <clears throat> I'm gonna use polyline. PL. Left click here. Left click there. Left click here. Then C for close. Enter. L line. Enter. Left click here. And I'm going to trim off this part. E R enter, enter. <coughs> Sorry. Explode, enter. I'm going to delete this. Delete. Left click here. Delete. Now, um, these are the sides for my triangle. Iron L enter. <clears throat> Space back to react it. Left click here. Yeah, so that is the triangular part of this. My next step is to um would be to bring these points up. Bring these points up. For a triangle, so I'm gonna use X construction line which is XL. So I type XL enter vertical and I click here, which is good. Here, which is the center, here, which is one, and here, which is the other end. <clears throat> now I've done that. The next step is to um. Draw is to draw is to draw is to generate is to, is to bring this side in here. Left click here, click there, and do uh, 
my computer is acting up really good. ER end to end. Trim that part off. Trim down here off as well. And for this, ER end to end. Escape. Here and delete. So that is a triangle. Uh, we have two sides, they have apex here. So my next move is to determine where the cut for this is supposed to be. We have two sides here and um, one side there, yeah. All right. <clears throat> enter, enter. Now I'm going to cut this line is a line to cut this at a point. Say I'm going to cut this here at uh, this location. Cutting this here. Trim, ER, enter, enter. Touch here. Touch there. Touch there. Yeah. And uh, my next step would be to bring those points vertically downward so use xl to bring those points downward xl enter vertical line and this would be pretty much like there <clears throat> i'm gonna change my layer change to my outline layer polyline pl4 polyline enter and i'm gonna draw the, 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 the template intersection here oh <clears throat> Match proper a enter. I want to copy this. Touch this. Touch that. <clears throat> uh, e R enter enter. I want to draw the outline for this as well. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to use polyline PL. Enter. Left click here. Left click there. Left click here. And left click there. So that is, bit, that is the front elevation and the plan. This is the plan view. Now I'm going to trim this part. You are and enter. Remove this. Remove that. Go. Use match property. M A. Enter. Touch this part. Touch here. Touch there. Touch here as well. Touch the eye as well. <clears throat> now I'm gonna draw the draw the development for this. Uh, yeah, and to draw the development for this, I'm gonna use circle. First, I change my construction layer. Go down to construction. I then activate circle. C for circle. Enter. Left click start point or center. Drag down to here. 
space bar can reactivate. Press center. Click here for one point. Space bar can reactivate. Here at center. Click at this point. And uh, it's important to note that two points fall within the same plane here. Yeah? Very important to note. My next step is to draw a circle with radius equivalent to length of this, one length of this side, of this poly, of this, uh, the base. Space bar to reactivate circle. Left click here. Left click there. Then copy this. C of the copy. Enter. Left click here. Enter. Specify here as the base point. Then left click here. Left click there for as the first side. Second side, and here is the third side. <clears throat> Escape. Now I'm going to delete the first one. Left click here, delete that. <clears throat> so now I have one, two, three sides. So I'm going to use ray, R A Y, anchor, starting here. Here is first point here is the second side there and here <clears throat> so that is the three sides one two three side all right now i'm going to trim out that this part right here we are anchor anchor left click here left click there left click here and left click here. Delete. <clears throat> now the base of this has been formed. I'm gonna use outline to draw the base to give it some life. And for this I'm using polyline, PL4 polyline. Of polyline, enter. Left click here. Left click there. Left click there. Left click there. And that is the base outline. One, two, three sides. That is the base outline. <coughs> The next step now is to plot these points, all right? So starting from here, polyline, left click here, then go here. It's recommended that you label these because if you don't, you might not know which one to plot. All right, it's best to label them one to one, two to two, three to three. Space bar to reactivate. And that is the development for that. One, two, three sides. Yep. That is the using circle to generate the development for this. Uh, this example might be a little a little more abstract than the regular. B that it is it is three sides and all three sides aren't very pronounced. Yeah. But this is this is the basic principle there for the for, for um using circles to generate the orthographic to generate a development sorry for that <clears throat>